Hi, and welcome to this Python beginner tutorial series. In this series, I'll be going over Python. Today, I'll be just showing you guys how to install Python, so where to find it online, how to install it, and I'll be installing VS Code as our tool uh, to be programming in and debugging. Uh, but by all means, if you guys prefer using Sublime is another really good one. Uh, it's definitely a lot lighter than VS Code. I like VS Code uh, just because you do have a lot of extensions possible and you can code in a lot of different languages as well. Uh, so if you do plan on using multiple languages, VS Code is definitely a really good one. It works on all platforms, Mac, Linux, and PC. I'll be demonstrating the install all on a PC machine, uh, but definitely if you guys need help, uh, feel free to post in the comments. Um, I've installed it on Mac, Linux, and PC as well. Uh, so if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's get started uh, by actually just like, where do we get it? Uh, so firstly, you would wanna open up a browser uh, like I have here. Uh, go to the search uh, engine of your choice. I'm using Google here. So if you use Google as well, it'll be the same search results most likely. Uh, so to download Python, all I usually search for is Python download, and it'll usually be the first link here. Once you click on that here, so if I actually just click on it and open it up in a new tab, it actually brings us right to the Python page, which actually has a download Python 3.9.5 currently. You're going to want to download the latest version uh, just by clicking on that icon, and that'll download it. I already have it downloaded. Uh, so we're going to install that in just a few seconds here. The other thing that you're going to want to do is also install Visual Studio Code or Sublime, uh, like I said, or any other uh, IDE or uh, text editor of your choice. Um, and for me, that's Visual Studio Code. So I just did a search for Visual Studio Code. And then all I did is click on the download link uh, that appears there. And that'll bring you to this page here and you can download the installer for your operating system. Uh, so it definitely simplifies things a little bit there. Um, but like I said, you guys could definitely use Sublime. Um, that's the first one that jumps to my head, but by all means, if you wanna use something by JetBrains, I believe theirs is called PyCharm. Uh, you can use that one as well. It is not free. There is a free edition, uh, but the actual full-fledged version is a paid for version. Both of these are completely free. Sublime is free, but they will prompt you every so often to purchase the full version. There is no extra features, but you will get that pop up all the time asking you to uh, register the full version. So once you have both of these uh, downloaded here, you're going to have uh, these two files in your downloads folder. The first one is going to be Python. The second one is going to be the VS Code user setup. So let's go ahead and let's actually set these up here. Um, so first one I'm going to install is going to be Python. Um, I prefer installing Python before installing my IDE or text editor of choice. Uh, just this way, my computer already has Python. So if anything goes wrong, it or if the IDE kind of tries to detect what I have, it'll detect it. I don't think for VS Code, it really makes much of a difference. Um, but that's the way that I prefer doing it. Uh, so let's go ahead and let's just double click on this here. And then we're gonna get this first screen here. So it's basically just gonna prompt you to either customize the install or just install now. And then you're gonna get these two checkboxes. I usually just leave exactly the defaults as it is and I click on install now, you will need administrative privileges to install this. So if you're installing it on a work computer uh, or school computer, uh, you might not have the appropriate rights to do so. Uh, but if you're installing it on your home computer, you should not have a problem. So you're just gonna install this here. It's pretty straightforward. It'll just pretty much, that's really the only step. And then we're gonna be installing VS Code uh, and then what I'll do today is I will just basically set up the first uh, program. We're just going to do a simple print hello world because that's really the classic uh, program that everyone starts off with. So that's what we're going to be doing today. 
Uh, we're not going to be getting too, too much into it today. Uh, just simply setting up your environment for the next videos. Um, but we're going to be going over uh, variables, data types at first, uh, and some basic operators. Uh, there are probably going to be multiple videos for those topics. Um, this tutorial series will probably be quite long, but we're going to cover everything um, that I would classify as a beginner stage. Uh, so we're going to be classifying everything from like variables to loops, um, to creating functions, to doing if statements, uh, creating classes, uh, doing some error catching. Uh, so those are really going to be the, the main things that we're going to be working on. And then I'll probably make, be making an intermediate series. Um, but for now, we're just going to concentrate on the beginner steps. Uh, and that should get you pretty good. Uh, what I'd like to do at the end is probably do like a little uh, video on making your own uh, choose your own adventure game. Uh, so kind of like those classic storybooks when you were a kid. Uh, you encounter a tunnel or and a bridge. Which one do you go to, the left or the right? And just kind of make a little fun adventure game like that. So once the setup is successful here, uh, you'll get the option to disable path uh, length limit. This is due to the uh, windows. It's basically like the max path is 260 characters. You could disable it if you want. If you don't want to, uh, you don't need to. I usually just hit close at this step. Uh, and Python is installed. And you can actually confirm that here. Uh, once you click on your uh, start menu, uh, you'll have the idle and the Python module and manual. Uh, so that's perfect. So let's go ahead and let's install VS Code here. Uh, so I'm just going to uh, double click on it. And this one usually uh, takes a little bit longer to open on this computer. All right, perfect. So we're just going to accept the terms and conditions here. Um, I usually just leave that at the default space, but if you do want to set a specific install location, definitely feel free to do so. If you prefer installing it on your second hard drive or something, definitely change it here. Um, and then that's just basically setting up the start menu folder. Uh, and then here, I usually uh, like to add this register code as an editor for supported file types. Uh, just this way, at least if I right click on it, I'll get the option to open up in Visual Studio Code usually right away. So that's kind of handy. Uh, we're just going to click on next here, and then we're going to click on install. So this is just going to install here. Uh, usually it doesn't take that long to do. And then we will have Visual Studio Code installed. All right, so that is done. So let's go ahead and let's actually just launch Visual Studio Code uh, just by hitting Finish here. All right, so once you get uh, prompted here, you're actually going to get into uh, the screen that basically kind of guides you through getting started with VS Code. Um, and then some of these pop-ups, I usually just close out of those here. Uh, but you're just going to want to choose the default, um, choose the color theme that you want. I usually just stick with the dark plus, which is the default dark mode. Um, so I don't mind that one. I actually prefer that one. Um, and then we're going to go ahead and the second step here, it's actually rich support for all your languages. We are going to go ahead and actually um, browse language extensions. Uh, because what we need to do is we need to add Python to VS Code. Uh, so you'll have this one. It's usually, honestly, at the top. Uh, it is a very, very popular um, extension here. So you're just going to click on this one. Make sure it's the one from Microsoft. You could just do a search for Python. It's usually, again, the top one there. Uh, and you're just going to click on Install here. And this is going to go ahead and install the Python module. Uh, so once this is installed here, we will be right back. And uh, we will keep going. All right, so it is all installed. You'll know it's installed uh, just by the disable option that appears here. Uh, so we're just going to want to go ahead. And on the left-hand side, you're going to see a couple icons here. We're just going to click on the top one here. We can actually close out of uh, this here. And uh, 
this here. Uh, so we're just gonna click on open folder just to open up a workspace. And then what we could do here is we're just gonna um, open up a uh, folder here. So what I like to do actually is, uh, one second here, let me just make sure that I can find the file. All right, so we're gonna to wanna to go ahead and open up uh, this here. And then we're gonna go ahead and create a folder called Python. And we are gonna go ahead and create a folder called Tutorial 1, just to create the project in the right spot here. We're just gonna put Tutorial 1 Hello world. And we're just gonna select that folder, perfect. So we're opening up VS Code in that folder. I usually just trust the offer because I'm the only one that's really gonna be writing code in here. So here we are, we're in the folder. We can just create a new file by clicking on new file here or new file here. Uh, and then we're just gonna create a file. So we're just gonna name it hello world dot py for python all right and then in here so we have our python script which is denoted by the dot py you always have to make sure that you name your python scripts dot py or else uh, they won't be recognized as python scripts so what we're going to do here simply for the first uh, part here we are going to do a print in all lowercase Open, bracket, uh, open parentheses, and then we are gonna do uh, double quotes here, and we are just gonna put in hello world with an exclamation mark, and that is it. You're gonna close your double quotes and close your parentheses. What I love about um, Visual Studio Code is if you notice here, when I did print open parentheses, it automatically puts the closing parentheses, and then if I just put one double quote, it will automatically place the closing double quote. Um, so that's kind of why I like uh, Visual Studio Code. Uh, I mean, Sublime does have uh, some functionalities that you could add uh, that can do that. Uh, there's lots of extensions though for VS Code that add some functionality. Um, what I also like as a little side note, I haven't shown you guys how to install it here, uh, but if you guys want a video, I can definitely make one for you guys. Um, and that is, uh, I don't have it on this computer because uh, this is just a virtual machine to show you guys how to install it. Um, but I use Kite, K-I-T-E. And this is not a sponsored video by all means. Um, I don't think that they even know who I am. Um, but I really enjoy using uh, their product. It is like an AI IntelliSense. It definitely helps me out a little bit. There are a few of them out there. I think there's one called Tab9, uh, but I use Kite a lot. I like it. They send me reports every week, tell me how many lines I've coded um, and use the auto completion on. So I find that kind of neat. Uh, so once you've written your print double quote, uh, your print parentheses double quote, hello world, and then your closing uh double quote and parentheses, uh, you can go ahead and click on the run and then do run without debugging, or you could simply hit this little play uh, button here. We're just gonna hit this little play button and we are going to see um, the terminal output here at the bottom is actually going to run our code and we do get the hello world exclamation mark here. So let me just zoom in. Hopefully I can zoom in here. Just one moment here. Let me just uh, try to see if I can fix my resolution here so you guys can see that properly. All right, so uh, I'm back here. So there's the code there. It's a little bit bigger for you guys. So we've got the print hello world. And then at the bottom here, we've got the execution here that printed hello world at the bottom here. So that's pretty much it. You guys should have Visual Studio code installed and Python installed and your first Python script created that says hello world. Uh, in the next video, we're gonna go over uh, some variables, how to declare variables, how to print them out. And I will see you in that video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell to know when that next video comes out. And I will see you on the next video.